Hey everybody, I'm Kirti Sharma and welcome back to my channel. And right now I am super, 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 super happy because guess what? Rubina the Lake won! Woo! Ruby, 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 Ruby! <laughs> I am so freaking excited and happy that Rubina Dilek uh, won Big Boss 14. You have no idea. I for sure thought that um, the makers, the producers, the channel, I don't know. I just thought that there was some kind of conspiracy behind this whole thing and she wasn't going to win. They're going to do everything in their power to make her the runner up. I am just so, so so glad that for once the person who should have won won okay i can't even tell you like she's strong she is strong willed um she didn't change who she was the whole season she played with integrity she didn't create drama for no reason you know she stood by her words even if you know she messed up um she's a she's a person we all make mistakes she made mistakes but you know she worked past them and i'm so happy because you know what i was so so blown when Abhinav uh, got sh uh, got uh, eliminated for no reason whatsoever, that was a BS elimination. Let me just tell you because I really thought he should have been in the top five for sure. Okay, um, he didn't give any content to the show. If he didn't, uh, why were uh, why was he a fixture of every single um video of the top five? like in their a journey. He was a part of everyone's journey. How could he not have given contact? But thankfully, he didn't win, but his wife won. Woo! Like, I'm so happy. I'm telling you, I could not stand a Rahul Vedya from day one. I just thought he was negative, annoying. Like, he had the potential to be so funny because his one-liners were amazing. He used to be, or he was witty. But the problem was that he just went so overboard with this whole nala 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 thing. I'm like, what the hell does nala mean? And then we find out that it means just idiotic or stupid or something. But, you know, like, my family's from the north. And whenever I hear nala, like, we don't think it means something that great. You know, it's an insult. Like, it's an insult. You shouldn't be insulting someone like that. So, yeah, a person who just doesn't know boundaries and you know shouldn't have won so i'm just super glad actually that's not even like the case uh, rubina was the only one aside from her husband who was eliminated a couple weeks ago um that hadn't left the house all season like this season it wasn't big boss house it was a big ball big boss um hotel or resort um, come and stay at your own will and then when you want to leave you can leave and don't worry we'll rebook your entry and you can come back like, what the hell? You're not supposed to be able to come and go as you will. If you can, then what's the point, you know? Um, people who go outside get a refresher. I mean, how hard is it to be locked up in a space for months on end? Like, we've all been in lockdown for uh, during this pandemic, and how crazy did we get, you know? We miss people. We miss talking to people. We miss looking at other faces. We miss just going out and breathing, you know, fresh air in a fresh environment. Like, these people were stuck in there for months. I mean, that's insane. Like, I've been at home since last February, and I am having, like, major cabin fever. And this is with TV. This is with internet. This is with my phone, you know? This is with, like, the freedom to eat what I want when I want, you know? And go to sleep when I want. Wake up when I want, you know? And these people, there's nothing in their control. They have nobody. They had nobody but the relationships they formed inside the house. Um, and in Rubina's case, she had her husband with her, uh, which a lot of people said that that was some kind of, like, advantage. Okay, yes, you know, she had someone there. She knew that no matter what, when push came to shove, he was going to be there by her side. But hello, no matter what the topic was, uh, what the situation was, these two are dragged into each other's fights like crazy. Um, people would say, don't be a unit, you know, you're a contestant, uh, pati patni, pati patni. like, you know, and then at the same time, whenever someone would get into a fight with one of them, they would drag the other one. So it's like, hello, you just said to play as a, uh, don't play as a unit, but yet you're dragging them as a unit. Hello.
Does that make any sense? Anyways, I am just so, so happy she won. Like, I am so happy. I am so happy. Um, I never made a video on Big Boss before. I've always wanted to, but you know, I never wanted, wanted to get involved in this cutthroat, like, oh my God, you're so biased. Oh my God, who are you? What's your opinion on this? Why do we care about your opinion on this? Oh my gosh, so-and-so is better. So-and-so sucks. so and so like, I'm not into all that, but because I thought that for sure, um, the show was setting things up like they don't like her. They don't like her strong headedness. They don't like her calling out the makers, which hello, they're biased. I mean, they've always been biased, you know, but now you actually had someone calling them out on it. Um, every weekend, her husband and herself, like they were bashed every weekend, whether something was their mistake or not. If someone else made a mistake, oh, Rubina, why didn't you tell her not to do that? Oh, Abhinav you're smart why didn't you get involved and then when they do get involved oh my god you're puppeteers um you're controlling everybody you shouldn't control anyone let everyone do their game like with Avina every weekend it was like stand up for your wife take a stand for your wife so when he did that why are you t talking for your wife why are you controlling your wife why aren't you letting your wife do her thing so it's like hello karo tomaro na karo tomaro right it's like what do you do there's no winning in that so just because of all of that i for sure thought that you know she was gonna lose um once again like in my opinion someone like who shouldn't win um is gonna win and the reason i'm saying that is because last year i was so blown with how the season went and who won. I just felt like, hello, if your whole, um, you know, basis is that these are the rules, these are the rules you have to play within, then how come you're letting people who break the rules win, you know? This season, let's not even talk about that because like I said, it's been a revolving door. That door has opened and closed, opened and closed for so many people. So yeah, the rules don't even matter at this point for this show. But I'm just glad that someone as strong and as independent um, and fearless as Rubina won. She went through a lot. I mean, to put out your heart like that, you know, the husband and wife, both of them, um, to talk about their relationship, the struggles they're having. And then, you know, like when you're stuck in an area or in a confined space, when there's so much stress, so much tension, like... There's a lot of drama that can happen in your relationship. So if you're in a struggling relationship where the foundation is wavering, like it's it's unbelievable like these two people were able to come out stronger because in all that stress, it's like you know you can easily cross the line. You can easily say something, do something that can be, you know, hard to come back from but luckily they realized that hey you know like big boss there's a lot of drama there's a lot of unnecessary arguments but look if people can fight over this kind of stuff we're okay like our fights weren't that bad to begin with so yeah i'm just really really glad that rubina won and i don't know <laughs> like i'm acting like someone i know has won like i've never voted for anybody in any of the seasons because I don't think you can vote in America. Like, at least I don't know how. Um, and then I didn't want the results to get spoiled. So I haven't been on Twitter or, you know, Facebook or YouTube at all. And I also watched the show on a live stream. So that, um, you know, I wouldn't get spoiled or the results wouldn't get spoiled. And the whole time I'm like, oh my God, please, 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 let Rubina win. Let this girl win. And then she won. And at the end, it was so hilarious, her reaction. You know, at the end when he finally was like, oh, Rubina Dilek is the winner of Big Boss 14. And she's just like, wait, really? Are you sure? Like, is this a joke, you know? And finally she won. And I'm just like, yes. And her family was so happy. And Abhina was so happy. And I'm just so happy for them. Rubina forever. <laughs> Go Rubina Dilek, the winner of the Big Boss 14. <laughs> so anyways, that was my little talk. Um, see you next time. Bye.